Uh, I have a couple of prayer requests. One is for our sister, Angela. They have found a lump in her other breast, so she will be having two surgeries now. Please pray for her. And Joyce Palmer in the hall asked me for prayers for her. So let's remember Joyce. Thank you. Absolutely. There is power in prayer. And I hope each and every one of us realizes that. Since we shift gears and now talking about prairie concerns, are there any other prayer concerns in the house this morning? I just have a praise. Praise. Autumn you takes me early on Tuesday, and I was so glad, but we have a new baby in my family, and I'm already a great grandmother, but I'm a really great grandmother now, and um, it's Blair Laney Sullivan, eight pounds and six ounces, and both are doing great, and both are already home, wow. so thank you guys for the prayers. I could feel them that day, and it was really, really good, so I thank you so much. It's awesome. Good morning. Um, every, I guess everybody knows Betty Flanner's in the hospital. She's at Norton Community in the rehab side, room 501. And then uh, I'm sure Kathleen called others, but she did call this morning to mention that her brother passed away this morning. So if you'll keep both of those really special ladies in your prayers. I talked to Betty uh, the other day and Stephen and Larry, and he has flown his children in here. And I know how much you all love you know, her family, too. And I just wanted you to know that they're going to be there all day today. As far as I know, Becky, you know anything different? They might understand. Stephen told me he's flying his boys in here, and she said they love Nisi. And so this is going to be one of her happiest days. But if you'd just like to drop by and see them and see the boys, I think it would mean the world to her. Anyone else? We have our partner in crime with us today, Matt McConnell. I know he's going to crawl under the table out here. But I found him wandering around out in the parking lot, so I just brought him on in. <laughs> but um, he, he and Billy are good friends, and we've always been friends through school and so forth. Um, keep him in mind. He lost his wife a week or a couple of weeks ago. Keep him in your prayers when you've got a minute, because he needs it. And we're going to keep him busy. So anything you got to do, call us and we'll call him. He's a, he's a good man, so he was afraid the church was going to fall this morning, but, you know, it didn't, so we're in good shape. But please keep him in prayer. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate so much that, that you all are praying for me, and I, I can feel that every single day. But one of the blessings that I found out in, in my journey is that breast cancer is one of the second, it's the second slowest moving cancers in the body. So praise the Lord. If I had to have any kind of cancer, I got the second slowest moving. <laughs> Amen. That's how you find the secret blessings from God in the midst of what we like to preach in the midst of storms, in the midst of situations that aren't favorable. But yet God gives us a special ability to be able to see 
the hidden blessings within. Amen. I hope you all receive that. Lay servant Rob Moore, will you be ever so kind to pray God's blessings on what was said? You don't have to mention them all one by one. But just pray for everyone and pray for this service, please. Thank you. Almighty God, we humbly bow in your presence, in your house. It's always special to be here, Lord. We know your scripture says we're two or three are gathered together, and I, I love these two or three and more gathered here today, Lord. Father, we know that you have heard each and every request that was mentioned. And now, Lord, we also, if we have unspoken requests, we raise our hand. You hear those as well. Thank you. Lord, attend to each and every one of these requests as only you can, whether it be for healing, for a special touch, for those that may be lonely, those who are maybe questioning you, God, maybe why things have happened. Give them assurance, Lord, and comfort as only you can. Lord, bless this church. Let us be a lighthouse to this community to spread the gospel and to serve others as you would serve them, Lord. We ask this in your precious name. Amen. Amen. And now with the confidence of children of God, let us also pray the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power.